G'day and welcome back, Couch Critics. Uh, it's Sog here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about. And it's Brad too. Don't forget oh, me. Give yeah, me some credit. Yes. <laughs> uh, everyone loves Brad more than me. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Uh, we're talking about someone that uh, divides opinions today. Melbourne Victory have announced that Tony Popovich will be the new manager of Melbourne Victory starting next season. Does he divide opinion? Yeah. Like, On what? Well, I, I, there are some people who don't don't like his style of play. Yeah. Who don't don't think he's that crash hot. Some people think he's the bee's knees. But uh, that's what we're going to chat about. Is it the right move for Melbourne Victory? Before we do, uh, thanks so much to everyone who's been watching. We're back and hoping to get some more regular videos. So if you enjoy this video today, make sure to leave a like and show your support. Leave some comments down below, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Alrighty, Bradley. Well. Do you think it's the right move for Melbourne Victory, Tony Popovich, next season? Oh, I think it's a good option going forward. I think uh, Brebner was vocal before, well before uh, last year. He was saying, you know, I don't know if I actually want the job. <laughs> and I feel like he only got the job because really he was the only option during COVID. So mm. I do think it is a good move. A guy who has him, yes, he hasn't won a grand final, but he has taken teams to multiple grand finals and he's won the Asian Champions League. He's a, probably one of, one, of the, one of the top coaches we've produced here in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, probably not the top, it's probably Ange, but anyway. Yeah. Um, I think he's a quality coach. Anything's better than uh, what Melbourne Victory's got going at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, uh, what do you make of the announcement that he'll be taking over as of next season? So the Victory yeah. have to finish off... No, I'd get him in the, straight away. ...their last away. 10 games. It's just a, it's a bit of a waste, isn't it? Yeah, why, no. why do you think he's not coming back in two weeks' time? Do his I don't know, he Probably. might still be over in Greece, and you know, I don't, I don't know. And I think, I don't know if they're actually playing the 27 26 games now. Because, really? because well, we're already into May, and the comp's going to be done by the end of next month. Ah, they just pump them out day after day. They haven't released the next couple of. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if they're going to but... play all the 20. But anyway, um, I don't know. I don't know, maybe you just want to let them finish their season. You can come in, you can clear out and say, everyone, yeah, you're gone, you're gone, and bring in his sons and... <laughs> well, that's, that's I don't a definite... Know. I, I don't but know. surely it makes sense for him to come now and to, to actually have a look, see yeah. him training. Who's who's actually not given it at training? Who's not turned up on match day? Yeah. Surely to get a real assessment. Or maybe he does just want a clean slate at the start of Yeah, next... there might be other stuff going on we don't know about, but I think um, he'll be watching the games regardless of whether he's officially coaching or not. He'll be watching on, seeing what he's got on display. Yeah, absolutely. Now... Victory have come out and said, obviously, you know, he's, they're very happy to have him. And, and Tony said, you know, this is a big club, big mm. fan base. He's mm. happy to be there. Uh, and he has been watching mm. to see how they're going. What do you think this does to, to Melbourne Victory for the rest of the season? Is this going to be a boost to them? Do you think some players are going to pick up? Or do you think they're just kind of, they're lost, the, the next 10 games are a write-off and they'll just, this is a sign of intent that next season is what they're thinking about and they're just done yeah, with this I, I think some players will be fine for their contract, for their spot in the team. Um, I don't know if it'll make them play any better. I mean, oh, well, I guess you can't play any worse. Mm. So, um, I don't know. I think it'll make a lot of players fight for their contracts because they want a spot because they know um, Tony can be a bit ruthless. He likes uh, the revolving door of recycling players. Well, how many well, players not did he go players. through with uh, the Wanderers? I think yeah. he had about 47 no. players in the, two seasons. You know, and still got into a couple of grand finals. So... Yeah, you yeah. know he he can um, get good results from clubs uh, with what he's got, but he um, does walk in with an axe and a broom. Yeah, and so <laughs> that's tough. And some of those players at Melbourne Victory, um, especially those of the British nature, probably um, might not be there next year. Yeah, I, it's interesting. Steve Keane was the assistant manager to Grant Brebner, and it seemed like he was really the one pulling the strings on the signings. And you had Rudy Gadest. You had mm. Ryan Shotton, uh, what's the Butterfield, Jacob Butterfield in the mm. midfield. These three English players, who to be honest, have been such Average. a letdown. Yeah. Rudy Gades said he was going to dominate the league more <laughs> than Toivonen. Oh well, good on him. Famous last words. Uh, if you're Tony Popovich walking into the victory, who, who's first out? Who, who, who are you cutting? And, and what kind of moves are you making? Who do you think Victory should be looking to bring in? Who's Popper going to bring in other than his sons? And who's who's got the door? 
Well, probably some of those British guys you mentioned probably uh, yep. get the flick. They've been average. They're on visas, and I don't know if they're on more money. And if they're on more money, just you know, you want to get rid of them. Well, they're definitely taking up international spots that mm. could be used better. Mustafa Amini doesn't have a club at the moment. He still doesn't. I've heard some rumours he's been at a few Wanderers games, but you know, I think he'll be a great pickup for I think Melbourne. He's just living in Parramatta. Yeah. Is the thing. Well, that's probably is the thing. Whether he's mm. wanting to sign it for him, I think that'd be a good signing uh, for Tony Popovich if it was to get him. It'd be that's a great the first start. one that comes to mind. Someone that is available and mm. a good player. Yeah, um, absolutely. That's probably one of the first ones to come to mind. I yeah. don't know. You've asked me on the spot here, so I haven't really <laughs> thought about who else they could bring in. But I think he's he'd be a good signing um, to start with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think those Ryan Shotton will go Rudy Gadest out the door. Uh, I think was it Mac McNamara? Uh, Mac He's Something been the like only decent yeah, player okay. for them yeah, this okay. season, like of the whole squad. Yeah. Uh, I thought Jack Brimmer's done okay this season but when I suggest that people kind of laugh me off I think he's been consistent and mm. working hard in the midfield uh, Robbie Cruz what what happens with him oh it doesn't matter where Do he goes Popper's he's gonna just a gust of wind will break him <laughs> he's just uh, a professional um, patient that's been blighted by a career of football he, he's not looked good this season. Uh, Marco Rojas, of course, broke his leg, but mm. before that, he wasn't particularly doing much. But a player like him has what it takes. Robbie Cruz, I don't know, he's always been injured. It's always been hard to tell with Robbie mm. Cruz. Someone like Storm Marie, he could play. It's just they're not performing. Yeah. It's just not performing. And I don't know whether it's the coach or whether the way the coach is playing. Or if it's just they've got average players, I don't really know. Yeah, um, yeah. But I think Tony's a man that can fix it and can turn it around for the club. Interesting. I, I predicted that Melbourne Victory would be second at the start of the yeah. season. Did I make him, Did I pick him for the six? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. yeah I wasn't overly convinced by him. Well, at least by your rating. I was like, oh, they, they might be there, but um, they might be getting their first wooden spoon in club history. Look, I got it wrong. But anything's possible. Popper, Popper's a great coach. Hmm. He will definitely set them up defensively much better than this season. Mm. That's uh, what they really need right now. I think over 40 goals in yeah. 17, 18 games. What do you got there in front it, of you? It's not been pretty. It's no. not been pretty, to say the least. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Is Popper a good signing for Melbourne Victory? And uh, if you were Victory, who are you signing? Who's your marquee going into next season to, to right this wrong? Uh, the terraces are there. They've got the support. Mm. Will they actually be better next season? Big mm. question. We'll wait and see. Mm. All right. Well, that's us for today. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.